continue today our coverage on the commemoration of the 60th anniversary of the March on Washington. The event produced a groundswell of support leading to the passage of the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act. As CBS's Michaelia White tells us, a Denver man who was there is recalling the memory of that day and what led up to it and how it changed him. I put this in my book at my anniversary when I was retiring. Reverend James Peters clearly recalls his interactions with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Prior to serving 28 years as pastor of Denver's New Hope Baptist Church, Peters led a church in Bridgeport, Connecticut. He presented me with a plaque in front of my whole congregation and the whole city and everything. At the age of 30, Reverend Peters helped organize three cars of a train to travel from Bridgeport to Washington, D.C. It was August 28, 1963. It was just a wonderful, wonderful day. The weather was perfect. The people were excited. They were singing and dancing and having a good time. They had the March on Washington. Washington, D.C. was Peters' hometown, and it was deeply segregated. All the way high school, never went to school with anybody white. They had a separate school system, separate restaurants, separate movies. Everything was separate churches. Everything was segregated. Edna J. Belton fueled a love of poetry and speech making in her son James, and he began preaching at the age of 19. The society told me that I, that I was nobody. My mother told me that I was always somebody. And that was a wonderful experience. Their turnout for the 1963 march was beyond anyone's expectations. By the Lincoln Memorial and thousands and thousands. You never seen so many people. A lot of people had to bring their children because they said this is history. It was. A lot of tears were shed. Mine and the others there because we had fought for this so long. Reverend Peters recalls divisions in the civil rights movement and Dr. King's unique ability to unite people. And he could say it without making people angry, trying to talk about the greatness of our country. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Barton was superb. You, you promised us in the Bill of Rights and all these declarations that all people are created equal, what we want our share. Reverend Peters went on to chair the Colorado Civil Rights Commission, never hesitating to implore Americans to stop looking the other way on the scourge of discrimination and racism. And I've had some great experiences. Leading a community of faith and blessed with a large family. I've had a rich and colorful ministry and it's taken me a lot of places. But I owe it all to Martin. A poet himself, Reverend Peters, said on MLK's death that Dr. King was able to remove the cataracts of racism from the eyes of otherwise healthy men who were basically good. Although retired, he's not done preaching the need to do better as a country. We believe that the dream of America has not been lost and that we are here to make things better. In Denver, I'm Michaelia White.